hello everyone welcome to atas clothing today we are going to be learning how to cut a sleeve pattern please if you are not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and do so right now hit that subscribe button and to all our returning subscribers i say thank you please without wasting much time let's get into it all right welcome to class so these are what we need for this tutorial you need your scissors you need your ruler your cough you need your marker and also measuring tape and your pattern paper so you have to fold your paper into two look at how i'm folding mine you fold your paper into two like this lay it flat properly Then you take your sleeve measurements. I'm going to be using that edge. I'm using the edge as my starting point. That edge is straight, so I'll use the my sleeve length is 10 inches. I'm taking my sleeve length now. I'll mark 10 inches like this. Place my tape on the other side again like this and mark the same 10 inches. I'll square the line through like this. Next, I'm going to measure my bicep divided by 2. My bicep is 15 divided by 2 is going to be 7.5 so i'm marking that 7.5 up here and i'm marking it down again then i'll connect the two points like so the next thing is to measure my slip cap the slip cap i'm using is 4.5 you can use anything between four and uh, four and five years so i'm using 4.5 that is very okay for me then i'll connect a slant line from that point to the edge of my sleeve like this i'll connect it slantly like so next i'll measure what i have there and divide it into two I'll divide it into two to mark the midpoint this is how I fold my tape to have a midpoint there from that midpoint now I'll go up by half of an inch I'll mark it there so I'll stand that line upward so the second side i'll divide it again into two at that midpoint i'll come down again by half of an inch you can see what i'm doing there so i'll bring in my cuff i'll cuff from the edge of the sleeve to the point i mark half inch you can see what i'm doing I'll curve that point, then turn my curve again to connect it to the last end. You can see how I'm placing my curve. You don't want to have a very deep curve there. You have a fairly curve there, it's okay. Mind you, we are working on the back armhole. That cuff is for the back. So next now I'm going to connect from that point to the other point like so and to the last end. And this is going to serve as my front armhole. This will be joined to the front. That cuff is going to be deeper than the, that of the back for proper fit. 
this will eliminate all the excess fabric at the front those things that cause the fold when you wear your dress is what we are taking care of right now that fold at the armhole area we are trying to eliminate it by curving the front armhole deeper than the back you can see what i'm doing right now connect it and there you go i want to blend the cuff very well i'm not satisfied with what i have so i have to blend it very well just take your time and do it right you can see what i have now it's very okay this is for the back and this is for the front i'm labeling it now so that you can understand now i'm going to take my round sleeve measurement and my round sleeve is 13 13 divided by 2 6.5 i'll mark my 6.5 like so and then connect it from the armhole down to the point i mark my 6.5 you can go ahead and add your seam allowance add your seam allowance but i will not be needing this i'll add all my seam allowance on the fabric but for the sake of this tutorial let me just show you this this is how you can add your seam allowance if you want to add it on the paper but i'll cut that out because i i don't need it i'll add mine on the fabric so time to cut you cut through the back armhole first cut through the back armhole first you can see what we have here i cut out the sewing allowance i don't need it now let's open it up like this let's open up the paper then cut the front armhole cut through our mark like so and here we have it you can see how it look you can see the difference between the front and the back armhole there is half of an inch difference there you can see half of an inch difference between the two you can see the front armhole is more deeper than the back this is what you want to have so i'll go ahead and label it again so you understand this is the back and the front all right thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more diy video and see you in another video bye for now